What's going on guys, Cameron Green Fitness here and today I'm bringing you a brand new video and it's just an advanced version of the previous diet video I brought out. So first of all, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave this video a like. So I'm going to be talking you through macros and a little bit of advanced dieting tips but first I want to just quickly go through the basics again. When you're wanting to lose weight, ideally the two basics are you just need to eat less and move more. It sounds very similar, but all you need to do is increase your activity expenditure and decrease the amount of calories that are going into your body, so you end up in a calorie deficit. Eating less can be something as simple as smaller portion sizes and also eating smaller meals, but eating them more frequently. And in terms of moving more, that's just increasing your activity expenditure on a day-to-day -day basis. So this could be targets such as maybe attend the gym a couple of times a week or even 10,000 steps per day, which is a very popular one I use with my clients. But now the advanced part of dieting. And I've got to give you a warning, this part does involve a little bit of maths. So first of all, you need to go onto a website called Calorie Calculator. That way, as soon as you input your height, your age, how active you are, you can find out your maintenance calories. Then if your aim is to lose weight, then ideally you just need to subtract 200 or maybe 300 away from that total. This will then put you in a deficit. And in terms of being on a deficit, it is literally a scientific equation. So if you remain in that deficit and calculate your calories right from what you're eating, then you will 100% lose weight. So now onto the fun part, which is actually calculating your macros. So first of all, to understand your macros, you need to know what they are. So your macros are your macronutrients. So they consist of your proteins, your fats, and your carbs. And what's very important is we also need to know the value of them. So that one gram of protein, it's four calories. One gram of carbs is four calories. And one gram of fats is nine calories. So this is very important when calculating your macros later on. When we're losing weight, we need to aim to maintain as much muscle as possible. So this ensures that we're solely burning fat and not having any muscle wastage. So to maintain muscle, in terms of research, it said you need two grams of protein per one kilo of body weight. So if I'm body weight of 70 kilos, ideally I need 140 grams of protein just to maintain muscle. Well, this is where your maths comes in. So if I'm having 140 grams of protein, altogether that totals 560 calories because then you just times the 140 by four. So that means out of the original calories that we found, once we've subtracted 200 or 300 to put us in the deficit, we then need to subtract the total calories worked out in protein. So the remaining calories are very much adjustable in terms of they need to then be split into your carbs and fats. And it can take a little bit of experimenting to find out what's right. But the main things to remember are, if you reduce your carbs, you're gonna end up feeling a little bit more tired, a little bit more lethargic, and just feeling like you've got a little bit less energy. And in terms of experimenting, some people's bodies can handle fats better than we can handle carbs. So it'll take a little bit of experimenting to see what suits your body the best. So just to give you an example of how to work out your calories and your macros, I'll use mine as an example. I don't want anyone following this because the deficit is massive just because at the moment I'm testing my body for my cut, reducing carbs and fats as much as possible. But I'm quite experienced with my dieting so I can do this. So a little warning, don't follow my macros. I'm in a massive deficit of about 800 calories. Okay, so so far, every day I'm hitting about 1,200 calories. And this consists of protein being 150 gram, carbs 60 gram, and fats 40 gram. So to work this out, 150 gram, which is my protein times by four, is 600. Okay, so that's 600 taken away from my original 1,200 calories leaves me 600 remaining, okay? So I've got to make out the carbs and fats to equal that 600. So what I've worked that out as is carbs being 60 gram times by four is 240, and then that leaves 360 calories remaining. So then I need to divide that by nine, which gives me 40, and that's my fats. So like I said, it is a little bit fiddly playing about, and it does take a little bit of maths, but once you've got it, you can experiment, Add maybe 10 gram on your carb, take away 10 gram from your fat. Just keep playing about to see what works for you and what provides the best results. I'd probably say monitor your weight weekly and then you can make small adjustments throughout the week if you need to. But the whole thing about dieting is it's very specific to your body. So I could recommend you macros and you may not react to it just because your body is so unique. So guys, that's the end of the video. I hope this has helped a little bit in terms of your macro explanation because I know quite a few of you have requested it previously. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave this video with a like, and I'll see you next time. Peace!